Hi guys, welcome back to a new episode of Humankind. So yeah, let's start off with picking a new technology. Now, let's go for urban planning because I just noticed that if we conquer too many cities, we have to pay a lot of influence the more we're over our city. Cap, urban planning will help with that. Now, let's see if we can take this city right here. They don't seem so strong. Yeah, we're stronger. But let's wait until we also have our other army in here. Yeah, those partisans will move according to the original plan. Also, I think our army capacity is 9 now, so that one, Lone Carrot can join our main fleet. Also, Granada can build something again, let's see. Yeah, I guess we're gonna build an armory. And an inventor's workshop too, that should help our science output a bit. Alright, so kids are increasingly becoming criminal in Babylon. I mean, yeah, let's educate them. We should teach them why it is bad to be a criminal. Now that the city has 15 research quarters, it's going to need thousands of coffee shops. Well, personally don't like coffee, so, yeah, probably not gonna happen. Alright, Operation Burn Down that outpost can begin. Alright, that takes 10 turns to complete. Alright, now we can begin the assault. Wait, what? How are we weaker than them? Oh my god, they have tons upon tons there. Apparently they noticed our units on their border and directly began to build up. Let's retreat then. Okay, let's give Eritrix City something new to build. Uh, they can still build coking works. Let's build one. Then... And we can also finally start to extract that oil. There. And a manufactory would also be beneficial if... Even if... Just With a little... With 15 market quarters. You'll soon be using stacks of banknotes to heat their houses. Hopefully not, we don't want to make a Weimar 2.0, in which our people use their money as heating because it's so worthless. Alright, a lone unit. We can probably defeat that. Alright, seems like there's still some Australian regiments left that we can defeat, good. Okay, now Rome can build something else again. I guess we'll build another Dragoon for the new regiment. And yeah, let's also build a coal plant. And Babylon needs some new orders too. Let's build some science districts, because I really don't like how it takes so long to get technologies now. Man, Bond too. Seems like cities needed attention this turn. Yeah, more coking works should be just fine. Alright, and we've researched urban planning. Cool. And seems like an Australian regiment attacked us and we won. Cool, I guess. Maybe they retreated instantly because otherwise we would have seen a combat screen. Like that one, but there we had to retreat, man. Now me, they're worm. really starting to hunt down my units. But don't worry, we will get them eventually. Yeah, their war support may be going up, but that's nothing to worry about. We can make it crash down again just as easily. And yeah, Arkin can also build something again. 118 production a turn? They absolutely need a sawmill. 
and let's educate the children. The long-term long strategy right. seems to be smarter if it's built on lifting everyone up. Cool, we can now research trench warfare. I mean, I just love. History, and especially the gruesome nature of World War I, is interesting to me. Okay, maybe San Lorenzo is guarded weaker, taking another. City will definitely break their will to fight by a big chunk. But let's first attack this regiment of theirs. Okay, they have two spawn points. But let's first just mow down those knights. Great, one unit less to worry about. And we partially dent it, their will to fight. Now we come from behind and surround them. All right, Granada has built their inventor's workshop. Yeah, let's build a stock exchange and a levy administration. Just because global pollution is low doesn't mean you should keep being the worst of the bunch. I mean, yeah, but I kinda don't care. I want more of everything. Polluting nature is a way to achieve that. Faster, and it's still at low level. Ugh, you repulse me. Man, their will to fight Be is swift. still growing. We gotta shoot some. More of their soldiers to bring it down further. Alright, so the people love us, no surprise. I mean, more production would be nice, let's choose that. Answer, even if it moved us away from individualism. Alright, this battle is big, we get a good chance to shoot. Some of their people there, and since we're stronger we're definitely fighting them. Okay, so seems like we were able to resist their first. Volley, pretty good. Let's fire back. Man, I hate these dumb walls, blocking all the incoming. Damage. Yeah, we can take a hit or two from them, bit. They cannot take that much damage from us. This is an important advantage we have over them. Alright, another musketeer is down. You know, it's also good that they're not as good in technology as we are if they had line infantry instead of musketeers we would have a harder time than we have now. Let's send this unit to the north where the fight is, even if they have a spawn point there. Alright, we've lost a unit of conscripts. We're gonna have to keep fighting. Once a battle starts, you can't choose to retreat again. Man, I hate these walls, but siege cannons cost too. Much production back then to include them in the colonial army. But they'll go down eventually if we shoot them enough. So it's not the worst. Yeah, these unprotected units of theirs fall easily. Bam! All down. Yeah, they already lost so many units. We've practically already won.
and another one of them down. Alright, now we're going to have to shoot all of them behind. These walls, this will take some time I imagine. Man, I could really use a siege cannon now, but since we're researching trench warfare, we can soon directly go ahead and produce artillery. Now in Hamburg, we should also start getting that oil out of the ground. Now let's get back into the battle. And yeah, I'm gonna speed up their turn again. Alright, our turn again. Let's start to shoot them again, our empire needs to grow, in order to not stagnate. Finally, we got a unit in their walls now. Alright, despite their defensive advantage, our more advanced units are just the heavier factor in this war. Yeah, let's move them north to the front of this engagement. Let's also spawn in reinforcements here, because they also now have a reinforcement spawn point there. And it seems this battle isn't over as quick as we thought. Yeah, we're gonna bring them out and then move them south towards their reinforcement spawn point. Just look at it, they've lost much more units than us. Yeah, they spawned in a new unit from outside this battle. Alright, seems like they're trying a surprise attack from the south. Good thing we noticed before they could perform a strong counter-attack. Okay, so they tried to attack us from the south, but I'm confident that our army will emerge victorious. Okay, the terrain here is hilly and filled with very advantageous and many disadvantageous spots. Man, we're destroying them. Yeah, that last unit up there, just shoot it quickly. Now let's also bring those units to the fight where the new front emerged. Yeah, we have more advanced, more experienced, and simply more soldiers, there's no way we lose. This Alright, now is our turn again. Yeah, we can absolutely destroy them. Let's continue to move those soldiers forward.
That one unit up there will stay there and guard. I believe they still had like a knight up there. Somewhere. Alright, so the battle continues. Next turn. Now, Granada has finished their levy administration. Now, the population has not enough food, so let's build a farming district. I guess we can build multiple to keep it occupied for some more time. Uh, Babylon also has finished their science. Districts. Yeah, let's just give them an industrial silo and then I'm gonna end this episode here.